Hi, uh, my name is Jerry Kuntz. I'm the Electronic Resources Consultant at the Ramapo Catskill Library System. And I want to start out by giving you a little context on uh, what I want to talk about today, and that is using LibGuides as a bookmark manager slash start page. Um, most of my work, and I'm sure this is true of many other librarians at this point, is browser based. Um, and I use the same couple of dozen sites all the time uh, during my workday. And that's also true of my home management and my hobby interests too, uh, that I frequently use. I use the same couple of dozen sites all the time. Now, the other part of the background is that um, RCLS has been a LibGuides CMS site since 2010. So it's a, a, a tool that we're very familiar with and the CMS license allows us to create as many sites as we want to essentially. Now for years, I have been looking for a cloud-based bookmark manager start page so that I could access my bookmarks from whatever machine I'm on using any brand of browser. Um, now I want to make a distinction between a uh, bookmark manager and a start page, even though there are tools that are a, co a combination of both. A pure bookmark manager um, can manage large number of bookmarks, um, even into the thousands. Some also manage uh, clipped content that you can find on websites and notes that you create. Uh, so there are tools like Evernote and OneNote that are uh, bookmark managers that do all that. Uh, start pages um, are a little bit different. They can bring together a, a more limited number of bookmarks along with widgets that present things like uh, news headlines, weather, a calendar, a clock, a to-do list, and, and social media. And uh, you're probably familiar with examples of start pages like uh, My Yahoo and uh, the Microsoft My Feed. Um, but there are commercial products that uh, services that that do the same thing too. Um, a popular one is Start Me. Um, but some of those start pages and some of those bookmark managers are specific to a certain browser like Chrome. Uh, they might be Chrome extensions or Firefox extensions. And some start pages will push content at you, uh, even ads. So um, my, my list of things I was looking for in a cloud-based bookmark manager start page um, were I wanted it to access dozens of links at a time. Uh, I didn't care if there were uh, nice graphics. I just wanted a list of links. Um, I wanted at least two organizing hierarchies, uh, something like folders or subfolders. And I really didn't have any use or need for other widgets or, or social media. Um, and I certainly did not want any push content or ads. So I, I, I looked around and I tried many different solutions. And a couple of years ago, I finally settled on a commercial fee-based service called Bookmark Ninja, which is what I have up on the screen right now. And you can see uh, what it does is basically just uh, organizes a couple of dozen links uh, per tab and puts them in boxes. Um, so you have a tab that is one uh, form of hierarchy. And then within a tab, you have uh, um, different boxes that say second level hierarchy. So this does exactly um, what I was looking for. And I've been very happy with it. Um, <clears throat> But um, as I was using it for, again, a couple of years, the light bulb finally went off that it looked kind of familiar to me. And uh, again, I've been using LibGuides for 12 years now. So I, I, uh, it, it struck me that it has tabs, 
for pages. And it has content boxes that can have different color schemes. And it provides a list of links. Well, what else does that? LibGuides does that. So I decided I could use, uh, create a LibGuide that would be a bookmark manager start page. It will do the same thing as Bookmark Ninja, and I won't have to pay for it. Um, also, um, uh, LibGuides uh, can be backed up and uh, exported in case I ever lose access to LibGuides. And also, if I mark the LibGuide status as private, uh, no one else could see it um, without me giving them the URL. And I could even password protect it if I wanted to bother to do that. So let me switch over and we'll see what that looks like. So here's the same thing that uh, Bookmark Ninja was doing, presented as a LibGuide with the tabs. And you notice that I can even use widgets. I can uh, create widgets within it. And it does everything I need. So um, hardly genius because it took me that long to figure this out. Um, the, the last thing I want to do is uh, give you a little plug um, because uh, just in the past week, um, RCLS has created, um, redone their website and our web, new website, www.rcls.org is just a WordPress front end but then all the content uh, leading from that front end goes to LibGuides. So again, we're taking advantage of LibGuides to do something uh, very common, very simple, very easy that all of our staff could get involved with. All right, thank you.